Hey, what's going on guys? It's Coding Toast and welcome to the ninth part of my series called Creating Um actually I'm building a professional website, I changed the name. Um and uh for this example I'm gonna be using Airbnb.com. But anyway, um I have I really good ideas because you can see this is the original Airbnb.com and this is my version of it. And you can see that um all these figures, like fig figures, yeah, that's how you say, um, are repetitive, like, um, you can see one exactly the same here, here, and, yeah, this is only in two places, wait, here, here, yeah, only in two places, but you can see, like, four, five, six, seven, seven of these little ones, and since I've already taught you, like, showed you how to create them, I don't think that it will be really important to like show you again how to do it like 10 more times or two more times actually but yeah uh, so I decided I decided to skip this part I mean I'm gonna create it but it's not gonna be on camera because well come on it's getting kind of boring and I'm trying my best to keep things interesting so I'm gonna give in a little hint and so pause the video after this hint and uh, go ahead and actually comment in the section below what you think it's gonna be what I'm gonna be showing you in this episode um... oh wait <laughs> you can actually probably no actually please don't read the description yet um... the hint is let me think about it um... my hint is belong anywhere and do whatever you can or I mean, I don't know. Um, so yeah, pause it, go to Airbnb.com and search for um, that and kind of like try and guess what we're going to be creating. Uh, I'm going to try and do my best to like create things um, a little bit more exciting for you guys. And by the way, uh, none of these um, tutorials are scripted. Like when I start a tutorial, I have no idea what I'm going to be showing you guys. But I think this is a, this is like good because you're seeing me think like how to create stuff you're not like oh yeah you've already planned this and blah 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 you know uh, I want to I want you guys to see the real experience of creating a professional website or any website actually but and I'm gonna be creating um, a website of my own soon which isn't gonna be like like a copy of anything but yeah Anyway, um, if you've already commented below, the answer is in one, two, three. I'm gonna be bringing in some JavaScript, baby. We're gonna be creating this amazing slideshow, but um, not quite this. And by the way, I got a recommendation from a guy. I forgot his name, but you know who you are. Um, thanks for commenting, and you're awesome, dude. Um, but yeah. So, I'm not going to be creating exactly this slide chart because I don't really know how they've created, like, tech, uh, like, buttons on a slideshow. Since my slideshow is, like, um, this one. I've created this website, don't worry. Um, like, this one, you'll see it. Like this. Um, so, I'm not going to be explaining the code. No way I'm going to be doing that. because Simply because, um you're not really into JavaScript yet so if I start explaining it's gonna be one hour tutorial it's gonna be boring and you're not gonna understand 99% of it so um, if you want to explain just comment down below if for your questions and I'll answer them I promise and uh, in the near future I'm gonna be great I'm gonna be starting a series called uh, I mean like introduction into JavaScript but yeah so um, I'm not gonna be writing the code again since I've already written it and I wrote it like 15 minutes ago so I'm gonna leave the code down in the description below so you can copy it so I'm gonna um, I made all the text into a comment section but uh, I'm gonna delete this and this and this comment hold on 
and this and there we go so now if I refresh you can see that we get it like well it's not gonna be this big don't worry that actually goes into an endless loop of a uh, slideshow but basically this is the whole the whole code and it's really not hard to uh, understand but I mean it's really nothing to be afraid of it's not as hard as it looks I mean like basically this var time on slide you can change it because that's in uh, it it's gonna be like if I change this to 10 you can see when I switch this hold on watch how slowly it actually changes um, so I'm gonna change this back to 1 and if I change this to like 1 watch what will happen it's gonna be 1 second 1 second 1 second 1 second 1 second so basically this is the time on the slide as it's named and this is the time between sli uh, the slides but yeah it's really actually uh, you know simple <coughs> sorry about that but there's also CSS so <coughs> yeah sorry I'm actually gonna delete this CSS and this so now all the images will be the same size as you can see and man it's fast why is it so fast um oh time on slides is zero I meant four <laughs> oops um but yeah so you can go ahead and copy this code from the script and I also I always recommend it uh I also recommend man I can't speak for some reason I always recommend um putting your scripts in the bottom of the web page um no particular reason I just find it like more organized like that but if you don't want to do it it's uh, your decision and uh, so I'm gonna be going through this div so you're gonna create a div and give it an ID of slidey container you're gonna go to CSS and basically this is the container of your um like where your image is, how big they are gonna be, and where they're gonna go actually. So I have no idea why it's positioned absolute and why it's height 100%. I'm gonna give it a height of 250 pixels. Oh wow, um, <laughs> like this 500 pixels, no 750. Oh, too big. Um, let's go with 700. Actually, how big is it here? Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna be changing the images, by the way. Don't worry about that. And small, isn't it? It's 600, probably. Uh, 600. Yeah, I think it is 600. So I'm gonna leave it like this. And the next thing you're gonna do is gonna create a figure. And yes, I know you don't know what a figure is, but trust me, you're gonna create a figure. Close it in. You're gonna give it an idea of slidey. So basically, slidey is. I don't know how to explain it. But it's basically like you have a div and. I'm gonna explain it simply. You have a div, and slidey is basically um, the object inside the div. So position absolute is I'm gonna give it a position uh, relative of the container. But uh, position absolute means that it's gonna be with 100% height. 100% means that it's gonna be 100% of the size of the position relatively uh, container. So yeah, um, the next thing actually, the next thing you're gonna do is create and uh, like put in the images. So your images are image source. I mean whatever you want, and you're gonna give each image a class of slider image. Now slider, wait, slider image. Well, maybe you don't have to give them anything, but. Uh, slider image, but I think it's uh, a better way of you know controlling stuff on your web page. So you're gonna give it a class of slider image, and you're gonna go on CSS and write 
you know, ID of the slider image and give it a width of 100% and 100% of height as well. Uh, so, it, like, if I give it a 10% and a 10%, it's gonna be 10%. Wait, position absolute. Absolute. Oh, well, you know what? I uh, probably don't even need this. Let's see. Yeah, I actually don't need it, so you can get rid of the. Wait, it was a class. Uh, that explains so much why it didn't work. But yeah, even if you don't have it, it's just like let's say you want one image to be with 100% on the uh, the other one, you want 80% of the width. But you're not gonna be doing this for this uh, website. But as you can see, um, the heavier the images are the laggier your web page is gonna be so choose light images cause if you see these original images are a resolution of 4000 pixels by 6000 pixels which is huge for an image and it's really great quality but I had to go to photoshop and after like 30 minutes of editing all the 70 images I um, changed the resolution to like a 300 by 100 pixels or something like that, I'm not really sure, but it's still laggy because the images are huge and there's so many. But yeah, since this is an automatic slideshow, you're, I'm not going to be teaching you how to create these, but basically it's going to be a regular link with, instead of like text, you're going to put, you're going to go to copy paste character and basically just copy and paste you know the character you want but I don't know if I can find it in this tutorial but let's just say it's gonna be like this something like this I'm not really sure but um wait let's see no I'm gonna press alt or I don't know what I have to press for whatever um what does this do I just oh it changes the site man that's cool well uh, this is a really cool website actually but yeah you're gonna go to copy paste character dot com or wh whichever website you want and you're gonna um basically paste in your code or you can also use an image for this and just not give it um, a background color, but make two images. One with like a gray image, uh, a gray background color, and another one with a white one. And so you're gonna create a div. Uh, actually, a link uh, inside the link. There's gonna be a div inside the div. There's gonna be the, uh, the original image, and you're gonna create the uh, link and give it a hover effect. You know, two dots hover, and when the hover um, and in the hover area you're gonna do background image and the hover image the white one so I know this was kind of confusing but I, I believe in you that you guys can do it so go ahead and uh, you know create your own websites but yeah um, I'm gonna be changing these images probably like not in a tutorial because I don't want them to make them like really long like this one for some reason but yeah, um, that's going to be it for this tutorial, and my voice is sounding really weird right now, I'm kind of terrified. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, if you did, make sure to leave a comment section, a comment section, really, uh, a comment in the comment section below if you have any questions as well, and please uh, rec recommend me stuff, um, ask me stuff, like, I want to contact with you guys, like, you know, um, response to you with uh, your questions and your stuff like that. But yeah, it was it was a pleasure um, making this tutorial for you guys. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, like the button if you did actually and subscribe to so you don't miss a video of mine. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. So hope you guys enjoy and peace.